On November 25, 1343, a devastating tsunami hit the city of Naples in Italy. Several thousand people lost their lives, hundreds of boats were destroyed, and in some locations such as the city of Amalfi, the damage was so severe that it would never regain its regional influence. This tsunami hit with no warning as it did not originate from an earthquake. Rather, it originated from a large landslide of the distant Mount Stromboli volcano where more than a cubic kilometer of its edifice slid into the ocean. This tsunami was not an isolated event, as over the next 150 years, two other destructive tsunamis also originated from this volcano. Further analysis revealed the existence of other recent landslide-caused tsunamis in the last 10,000 years at Mount Stromboli, meaning that these represent an underreported long-term threat at the volcano. The Mount Stromboli volcano is located in southern Italy, where it is 63 kilometers north of the island of Sicily. Zooming in on this volcano, we can note how Stromboli's current active crater is breached to the northwest. There, young lava flows and ash have been funneled towards the ocean in a complex landslide scar which formed due to several successive partial summit collapse events. These collapses left behind a prominent scarp on the island which is more than 100 meters tall in some locations. In total, the island of Stromboli is known to have produced at least eight large landslides and tsunamis, seven of which occurred from the aforementioned vent. The only outlier in this group is a landslide which originated on the eastern half of the island. Looking at the modern appearance of Mount Stromboli, it becomes quite prominent that the island has a generally steep slope approaching 45 degrees in some locations. However, it used to be far steeper. These ancient landslides generally occurred when the slope of the volcano reached a critical point, causing mass to overload on one of its sides. Eventually, due to the eruption of new ash and lava, a threshold will be reached, causing a large-scale destructive flank collapse to occur. These large landslides removed significant volumes of rock, ranging from 0.7 to 2.3 cubic kilometers of material. If a similarly sized event was to occur today, it would damage every single coastline in the Mediterranean Sea. Luckily, the majority of these collapses were triggered in part during periods of time when the volcano was far taller than it is today. While Stromboli currently stands at 924 meters above sea level, its large collapses generally occurred when its summit was 950 to 1125 meters above sea level. Thus, a truly large collapse should not occur for the foreseeable future, although anything is possible. As for the series of three landslides which occurred during the 14th to 16th centuries, they likely originated primarily underwater as the volcano towers 2,700 meters above the sea floor. The series of tsunamis in the 1300s caused the complete abandonment of the island of Stromboli, leading to it not being resettled for some time. It is quite likely that a similar complete evacuation will one day be needed in the distant future once Stromboli reaches at least 950 meters above sea level. Residents who live on the island may remember a landslide which occurred on the northwest section of the island in 2002, where 1.8 million cubic meters of rock slid into the ocean, creating a 10 meter high wave. While this event was destructive, it merely represented an event 40 times smaller than the smallest of the recorded summit collapses. Regardless, it is a reminder that at any time without warning, a small tsunami could be generated from this volcano. I recommend placing a tsunami buoy off the northwest coast of the island that will monitor this long-term threat. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Rena for supporting this channel.